Hi and welcome to this video. We will discuss how to associate multiple costs uh, to a very specific fixed asset on NetSuite. We assume that you already have the fixed asset register bundle, that you updated it to its latest version and that you are entering costs either directly to fixed assets accounts from the line like from the expense or the item that you are purchasing or that you are purchasing whatever expense that you are, but then you need to total this, these expenses, which are not fixed assets, into a fixed asset. Now to do this, first the fixed asset feature needs to be enabled on NetSuite. Secondly, you have to go to the chart of account and ensure that the fixed assets accounts have been set up correctly meaning that within the chart of account, you're going to see the fixed asset accounts have these little uh, additional boxes where you can say if the account is an asset account, a depreciation account, an accumulated depreciation account, etc. So once you've marked these, you'll also need to make sure that you have fixed asset types. So each fixed asset type will be linked to a chart of account account at the account level you know on the asset type itself you have a sub tab called account and within this you're going to be able to say for this asset type what's the asset account what's the depreciation what's the accumulated depreciation etc now once you've ensured this what you'll do is you'll start entering your bills your vendor bills against projects maybe categorizing them by department or by class and after a few weeks or a few months maybe it's time to capitalize all these costs so you're going to go in your maybe your balance sheet or your profit and loss you're going to make a report out of all these costs that were entered on NetSuite and, and take out all the accounts that they were posted to then you're going to make a journal entry, you're going to credit these values and you're going to debit the correct fixed asset account for a journal entry. Now that's one thing, that's the value element. But now we need to create the fixed asset. So what you would need to do is you would go to fixed assets on that suite on the menu, you'll go to transactions and then you will go to propose fixed assets. Now, when you click on this, NetSuite will provide you with the type of fixed asset you want to be uh, creating. Now, if you've got multiple bills that have been journaled out from expense type to now a fixed asset, you're going to find this fixed asset within the correct type that you're selecting. So, for example, if you were trying to create, let's say, an IT equipment out of a lot of expenses, let's say time and material you took in R&D and uh, lots of expenses. So all these expenses have been journaled out into a fixed asset account, which would be, let's say, uh, IT equipment. Now you're going to choose IT equipment as the fixed asset type for proposal, and you're going to see all the bills and journals that are tied to this asset type. So anytime there was a bill where the expense debited was of type uh, IT equipment, you're going to see it in there. Anytime there was any kind of journal entry that credited any expense account and debited an IT equipment fixed asset account, you're going to see it in there too. Now you can actually uh, select all the related expenses or asset values that are proposed and click on propose fixed asset. What this will do is it will allow you to access the next step, manage asset proposals. That's it, we'll have created asset proposals. Now you can select the main one, the one you want to be uh, creating the fixed asset from. You will edit this, this main fixed asset proposal and within the fixed asset proposal, you're gonna find a sub tab. The sub tab is called children proposal or child fixed asset proposal. Now within this sub tab, you're going to link all the other proposals to it. Once the, you've added all the other proposals and you've tied it to that main proposal you've edited, you can click on generate asset. 
So NetSuite will have taken your main asset proposal, attached all the, the other asset proposal you wanted and their associated costs to create only one fixed asset with the total of these costs. Now the next step of course is go to the fixed asset itself, give it the correct name, just to ensure that the start, depreciation start date and end date are good, the costs are good, and also that the lifetime is good too. Once you're good, then you can save this and then it's going to be ready to be depreciated in the months to come. I hope this video was useful. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.